All right. Cheers, boys. Here we go. Woo. All right. Woo. I like doing shots with the varsity. I'll go back oh, to my over here. <laughs> you guys are doing great. Oh. Hello and welcome to our 2021 Open Championship Experience Vlog. And just a quick disclaimer, USBC regulations prohibits you from recording tournament play, so I tried to get as much footage as I could to be put in this video, and also to stay compliant and most importantly in good standing with the USBC. I will mix in some footage from our last vlog, which was in 2019, so you can see a little bit of the differences there between both years, but you can also go search for that video here on YouTube as well. Hope you all enjoy the video and now on to our 2021 experience here in Las Vegas. So those of you that have been to South Point Casino are well familiar with the long journey to the bowling arena from the front of the casino. And if you're not, just know that it's probably in the area of about a quarter mile walk. And when you're carding six bowling balls like I was, well, it gets a little tiring towards the end. So this is probably a good time to show you the arsenal that I took with me this year. They're all Storm Roto Grip equipment. And I took the lock at 1000 grit, the phase two at 2000 grit, phase three at 1500 polished, the RST X1 at 3000 grit, the Supersonic at 4000 grit, and finally the Crux Prime at 500 grit. Hold on. They're a little slower. They have bowling balls. Yeah, <laughs> they got yeah. balls. Joseph has two bags of balls. I know. You like that? Our husbands, our husbands are walking their balls. We're making it. We don't have anything to, to carry. You guys All right. have a lot. I've done nothing. Yeah, I'm okay. okay. What's my eye? Uh, my choice to have so many balls. <laughs> You're going to do that, honey? All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right, ready? We got this. <laughs> How do you, what's the music for it? Probably one of the biggest differences that we saw in the team event was the staging area. You'll see in the next clip how it was in 2019, but this year you can see that 
we are social distance and you will also notice that there are quite a few less chairs and that's because this year we only had one team to a pair whereas in the past we had two teams to a pair another difference this year was the equipment inspection as you can see here this year we only had to show the USB-C serial number on the ball and also show how many holes were drilled in the ball and make sure you didn't have any illegal weight holes drilled into the ball you can see that in 2019 they actually did go through the inspection of all the bowling balls to make sure that they were USB-C compliant all right here we go we're getting ready to walk out what's our team name no. Oh, oh. Pa power strokers. That's right. Power strokers. <laughs> power strokers. That's us. Is that like a reference for power stroke? I don't know. No Texas shirts this year, though. Look at all those Texas shirts going down the lanes. All right, here we go. Hey, look at all those guys. All right, this year we're on 31 and 32. Oh, there's all the girls and they're wooing again. I think I did. They got matching shirts again. Did not get that one at all. One of the coolest things the USBC does is recognize those teams that dress in matching shirts and pants. And if your team does that, then you receive a special lapel pin called the pride pin. Normally the pins are given only to bowlers. However, this year, one of the officials decided to go above and beyond to recognize our wives as supporters and give them a pride pin of their own for wearing matching shirts. I asked her if she would let me do that thing and she wouldn't let it. Alright. Woo! This announcement is for everyone in the South Point Bowling Plaza. The USBC has not changed its COVID protocols in fairness to all competitors in the Open Championships. Competitors must wear a mask at all times, completely covering their nose and mouth, unless actively eating more. Come on, this is my favorite part. For the 2021 tournament, as well as the upcoming 2022 tournament in Vegas, the USBC made the decision to move the doubles and singles portion to the bowling center, which is not really very close to the bowling plaza where the team event is held. In previous years, both events were held in the bowling plaza, as you'll see in the next clip from 2019. 
That's where we bowled last night, right there. So I just finished game one. Shot 179 with two opens. I got a good look, but yeah, they, these are moving. They're hooking over here. Not at the other place, but here they're hooking. well started singles every man for themselves so here we go I've been averaging about 180 if you can't pick up a 10 I can't close I cannot close a 10 frame this whole tournament I've missed every I've opened every 10 frame it's ridiculous oh! nice game brother that would be a career high right there there you go So my 2021 USBC Open Championships tournament is done. I was able to muster up a couple of good games for singles at the end. I only ended up with like a 570 something, so not my best scores, but man, I thought I bowled really well. I thought it was my best tournament ever. I just didn't score very well. So anyways, that's it. Bowling vlog is done. We're gonna go check in with Marissa. She won $800. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go see what we're gonna do next. It's like one, it's like 1.15 in the morning. We got a late start, so we're all tired.